So the top 10 running backs in fantasy last year were Austin Eckler, Christian McCaffrey. This is half point PPR, by the way. Oh. Austin Eckler, Christian McCaffrey, Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry, Nick Chubb, Saquon Barkley, Tony Pollard, Jamal Williams, Aaron Jones, oh, and Dalvin okay. Cook. My pick is Dalvin Cook to not be in the top 10. <laughs> Solid pick. That's pretty easy, right? No. That the odds are great on that one. <laughs> <laughs> the interesting, um, the interesting way to look at it, though, guys, is that look at the top three to five guys right there, six guys, and then it, it's a heavy drop off there. So I mean, seven, so seven to ten. If you honestly, if you pull, so Dalvin Cook had Dalvin Cook had one eighteen. Reminder Stevenson had, or sorry, two eighteen. Reminder Stevenson had two fourteen, and then Joe Mixon and Miles Sanders also basically had had two ten. So like yeah. if you like if we remove Dalvin Cook and I just put Ramondre, Joe Mixon, or Miles Sanders, I'm picking Miles Sanders to be outside the top ten because well, yeah, Ramondre. You guys want to? You guys want to hear who my lock is? It's pretty sexy. Tony Pollard. Oh, no. it'll be his no, boy no, no. from New York. No, 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 no. It is Josh Jacobs. Okay, yeah. And here's my that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. That makes sense. A three hundred and carry season. There's a lot of data. What happened? after a 300 carry season that man got leaned on hard last year he's, he's not getting different. the money that he wants and if he's he's talking about sitting out of camp so if he gets a late start it's that the yeah. writing's all on the wall and he, he already gets repression. nicked up josh jacobs isn't a relatively healthy player i mean he survived last in. year but in the past seasons he he plays injured and all that which is what you want but what i'm right there with you man i, I think uh Missing training camp and then coming in there playing, um, but honestly, out of the, these top ten guys, if he's not at least paid, he doesn't want to play. At at least five of them between Jacobs and Barkley, contract yeah. issues, right? Um, look, Chris McCaffrey, love his talent, <clears throat> but I also know history. And if I had to bet, well, I'm bet I'm betting with history. CMC, Josh Jacobs, Saquon Barkley, what? Jamal Williams won't be in the top ten. Aaron Jones. Quite yeah. quite possible he won't oh, be yeah, in the top ten now because that sure. offense is is going to be worse. And then obviously we've talked about Dalvin Cook at length. There's five or six guys in that top ten. You got who it. might not be there. And then again, you got Kenneth Walker. You got mm-hmm. uh, Damian Pierce. You got Let's go. Everybody's right. sleeping. Don't, don't Everybody's my sleeping. My boy Zach Charbonnet. I mean him too. I mean I'm just saying. Bro, just no, young that guys out is there. not even close to a top. Get probably out of not. Here. Travis Etienne, no. Like there's guys, there's young guys who could pick. move up Kenneth into Walker that top ten second now. Second round yeah. pick. Kenneth Walker was a second round pick. Put some respect yeah. on Zach Charbonnet's name. Time out. Time out. Woody, the issue is you can't have two top ten running backs on the same team. Very, well, very, very if, few if times I was the that coach, ever happened. If I was the coach, I would. Nick, I would work damn hard to get that. Like here's the thing. I think Run in the ball. Is it take away so you, from Z- Kenneth Walker's numbers? Yeah, you take away from Kenneth Walker's numbers and you get two mediocre running back numbers. Wait. I think that's more likely gonna happen. Is is that which is what I just enough? said? He's good. He's not Kenneth Walker though. Like he's Thank good. You, what do you, he's, he's a he's solid receiver, Walker. a very underrated uh, receiver. Bro. He, he is, a, but you're Kenneth a, you're Walker a noted is... Pac twelve. Here. I'm not. Hey, look, Kenneth Woody, Walker is hey, is is go back. Than Zach Time, out. Time out. Time out. It's I, a hell of a one two punch. I can CJ, promise you guys. Woody. I I agree with that too. But Kenneth yeah. Walker is the better player Did, between. The, don't between be fooled. The two. This yeah, don't be fooled. Year one, unless Kenneth Walker gets hurt. If you're getting right. Kenneth Walker, you attach Charbonnet. Kenneth Walker me, yeah. dominated Big Ten, right? Right, and Big Ten yep. you can argue, especially outside of SEC, that front seven, those offensive linemen, that's. Hey, they they breed them up there in Big Ten. Kenneth yeah. Walker dominated with a bad offensive line himself. Yeah, my man a- Zach a- had a- to go a- to the a- Pac-12. How to Kenneth Walker ran through Michigan. Uh, I'm still watching those videos. Just Five minutes. Recently, Woody, it, Woody, it's poetry. Not, don't, don't get me wrong. Better. I mean, we look at we look at Rashad White. He got drafted out of Arizona State last year, and he looks like one of the brightest young backs in the NFL. Like, like I'm saying, those I'm. People are sleeping on my boy Zach Charbonnet. Woody, let Could me let me be the best running back in the, out of the draft. Pac-12. Okay, yeah, that's person. fine. I I well I mm, I'm not gonna get. Bijan. I'm not. He's not. In a, he's not at a better Bijan situation. Bijan Robinson is in yeah, this draft. He's, he's, he's literally not in a better situation than Bijan or Jameer Gibbs. Bijan's a little overrated. I mean, I I agree with that statement. But here's the thing, Woody. I am. I have so many texts to Brandon during last season's college football 
See, I'm like, bro, this guy, Zach Charbonnet, is really good. Like, I think he could be he could be a number one on a team. And then Seattle took him. And so I think Zach Charbonnet, is ceiling, is his ceiling's capped. Just like I think. Yeah, I, think I hate the landing he capped spot. Ken Walker ceiling. Zach Charbonnet, they cap each other's Seattle, ceiling. Seattle loves to run the ball. I think he's good. I think he's bro, legit. I do. I, I just think Kenneth We're Walker not saying that Seattle doesn't love really to run good. the ball. We're saying that you can't. It's Seattle's not, just it's, being smart. It's not Mark Ingram and in, in Alvin Kamara. It's just not. They're it's, building. It, it just isn't. They're, they're really building around Geno Smith, you know, in, yeah. in a similar way that you're seeing like the Lions, for example, build around Jared Goff. You can yeah. do it like and, and they've got a lot of pieces on that offense. You add Zach Charbonnet and Kenneth Walker gets hurt. Boom. We got our guy, right? That's that's what it is. Then they went and took Kenny McIntosh from Georgia at the same Bro, seriously, time. Seriously, they so drafted like, two running backs. It was yeah. wild. All right, let's talk. Let's talk about before we move on from running backs. Probably one of the most higher fan approval ratings of a player in the NFL in Jamal Williams. I mean, after America's sweetheart after Hard Knocks last year, everyone fell. Yeah, in love with I mean, Jamal I Williams. love, I love him. I'm sad he's gone. Yeah. And we absolutely love him. The dude plays Pokemon, watches Naruto. He's he's the, he's the every heart. like this guy is amazing. He's a marketing dream. But Nate, Nate he said, wasn't worth. <laughs> he said, "I love him. Huh? I'm sad he's gone." <laughs> I mean, that's how I feel right. about it. The situation, man. Yeah, David let's, Montgomery. Let's talk about. I okay, want to vomit talk, when you say that. It, he went down to New Orleans. That's gross. So, Alvin Kamara. We still yeah. do not know what is going to happen to Alvin Kamara based on his court case. He's not there he's is gonna probably be, he's gonna be some playing one type week of one. Sus- <sighs> there is probably some type of suspension looming. Nope. He literally gave a dude brain damage. He's not gonna get he's not gonna get suspended. I'm telling you right now, that case is gonna get dismissed and he's not gonna get suspended. All right. Well then, dragging this out. I, I know, I know. I just it, it may, may maybe it won't be this year, but I, I would be it'd be hard, hard press. His trial date, I believe, is set for the thirty first of July. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thirty first of July. Yep, it's gonna get pushed too. Mm-hmm. He's gonna re- they're gonna request if it gets pushed twice already. Watch it, that ADP. If it gets pushed mid season or later, they just keep pushing it. It's they just keep pushing it because he has to travel to Las Vegas to appear. He'll just be out of the country. He'll be unavailable. What does Jamal Williams do in New Orleans offense? And Brandon, you already said that it's a similar Nothing. running running scheme to Detroit, where he had success last year. Dan Campbell came from that tree. Do we see like I I I would see it hard pressed for him to return to the top ten again. I think he mm-hmm. had his career year, but top twenty, I could I, I'd put him there. Yeah, I, 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 he's not top 10. I, even without uh, Alvin Kamara there, I, I just don't see him returning in there. He's got, he has to score 17. T- he scored 17 touchdowns a season ago. That's, that's incredible, if you guys remember. I mean, he was putting up those crazy uh, red zone numbers similar to like James Conner a couple years ago. So, oh, yeah, that was so Yeah. Well, yeah. That long, no, that's so. true. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I mean, the line, the line isn't the same in New Orleans with all these cap troubles either. Yeah, that's something to consider. Yeah, Jamal Williams, he he is a solid pickup though, and yeah, I mean, he's not the receiver though. He's not the receiver that Alvin Kamara is, or some of the other guys. I mean, he's really a true outlier among the top ten from a year ago. He had twelve receptions for seventy three yards. He fumbled the ball three times. Whatever that, whatever that's he's an worth. outlier. Yeah, but the fact that he scored 17 rushing touchdowns, that's the drama. 